crinkly seasons greetings blurbs got a little gift here from Texlec. i've covered a good number of their devices on lgr videos in the past and yeah this looks pretty fun so let's see what's inside <laughs> yeah Merry Christmas from Texelec. Yeah, arrived just in time for Christmas. Apparently he wasn't sure he was going to have it out before the day itself, but here we are before the day itself. Check it out, we got some controls. <laughs> oh, this should be cute. Little standoffs or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like for propping it up. Okay, well, let's just uh, see if we can turn it on here. I'm gonna volume wheel, power on and off. Uh, yeah, this is this is called the Christmas SID. So you probably are uh, getting an idea of what this may end up being just by the name itself, but. <laughs> this is lovely. Okay, it's just gonna keep on going? I don't know how to actually press these buttons. I guess... I kinda did it. Okay, so uh, yeah, the Christmas SID. It is a little SID chip emulator on a PCB micro SD card. Uh, I think there's a little... I mean, obviously you got batteries and whatnot and some other little things going on, but I think it's all running off like an ARM chipset. It's like a standalone SID chip emulator. <laughs> it's pretty nifty. So yeah, this is uh, just something that Kevin put together and is available for sale, I believe, on the Textalike website. I have to stand those up here in a second. But uh, yeah, we got some controls for playing SID chip tunes without, you know, a Commodore 64 or a computer a full-on computer emulating it in the traditional sense. Instead, we've got just this nifty little thing. Ah, it's just lovely. Like, like a, a Christmas card that plays music. Ah, this, this is great. I love these kind of little things. Especially around the holidays. Just makes me happy. We got like headers and you know, all kinds of different places to connect things. Optional DC power jack. I got the Mauser part number right there on there. Look at that. How handy is that? Uh, micro SD card, you can actually get to play other SID chip tunes, like a SID format thing. Uh, I appreciate the LEDs. Seems like it should be capacitive or something. I guess it's... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is capacitive. It's just a bit of a delay, so I was getting thrown off there. Well, this is just lovely. <laughs> so we got Bill, Chuck, and Jack there for the stockings. I'm assuming that's Bill Hurd, Chuck Peddle, and Jack Trammell. If I had to guess, knowing my Commodore knowledge is not the best, but I don't know, th those would be the three I would guess. They're pretty closely associated with Commodore things. So, uh, let's see. Uh -huh. I'm just looking at these controls over here. So you got different taps for the mantle pattern, fire pattern. Yeah. some sound man like the speaker kind of set up this guy going on there 
Isn't that neat? And I think that right there in the center there, that chip is the brains of the operation. Yeah, like I said, I believe it's an ARM-based dealio. Let me open up the site really quick. Yeah, so uh, there it is on the website. So yeah, $49.99. Just, I guess, you just made a few of them. Okay, so based on the STM32 SID player by Bashika. I became aware of the project several months back and really wanted to use it for something. And I've also long wanted to make a Christmas ornament. So yeah, STM32F41CC U6 ARM CPU at 84 megahertz. <laughs> With almost 61K free to load SID files. So this thing is absurdly more powerful than the Commodore 64. I mean, of course it is, but it's kind of hilarious. Just the fact that technology is what it is. <laughs> oh, uh, seven dual color LEDs, three different fire modes, 11 different mantle light patterns, four capacitive touch buttons. Indeed, we discovered that. Yeah, the 28 millimeter speaker with two watt class D amplifier. I was wondering what that was, because like I said, it, <laughs> it was putting out some sound on there for a little thing. Uh, add your own SID files. I'll have to do that here in a sec. Some information on the emulator to using STM32 SID player. Software-based emulation, which uh, emulates 6502 CPU and the SID chip itself. Neat. Yeah, not perfect, not exact, but it does make a good attempt. I mean, you know, sounds pretty good to me. At least coming out of that little speaker. I'm sure if you did like a side-by-side -side comparison of a direct recording, you would notice things. But hey, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that, that's all this is really. I just wanted to, uh, to show that this existed as kind of a, a nice little holiday thing here on Blurbs. Let me go ahead and get these little guys stuck onto it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just play this out. You know, they had the rest of this video with uh, a Christmas song or two or whatever's on here. I don't even know how many tracks are on here. And then I'm going to poke around the card really quick <laughs> and just, you know, I'll drop one of my favorite Sid tunes on there. See how that goes. A little screw on thing. Just like a, like a little stand. Because otherwise, I guess you could hang it up, but I don't see anywhere to actually put in like a, uh, a hook to go on my tree. I could just like plop it in the tree and balance it up on something, but uh, yeah, you'd think there'd be a hole on top. <laughs> if it's meant to be an ornament. I don't know. Makes sense. Is that, uh, I put it on top of like a fireplace mantle. <laughs> I don't. I don't have one, but I could see it being a, a nice little a little thing for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally. That works well. So that's what this is. Uh, yeah. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas Eve or whenever you happen to be watching this got to the holiday tomorrow so that's fun got a little potentiometer there for the touchpad sensitivity that's awesome i was wondering yeah optional audio jack as well i was wondering if there was a an output header or the connections for it and of course there is all right that's it for this video uh let it play another christmas tune here and then a sid tune of my own selection Enjoy.
Thanks for watching this blurb.